propellers on them. Instead, it flies like a bird. Um, so, Edwin, why is that a good idea? <laughs> It's a good idea because up to now we are, all the drones and all the aircraft has been always using the propellers, uh, except the jet of course, but so uh, this technology is of course uh, well established and uh, very efficient, but with some uh, studies and uh, studying the real birds, I, um, I had the feeling that we could improve the efficiency of the propelling uh, system of the aircraft by using uh, the flapping wing system like a real bird. Yeah. I mean, you don't see an awful lot of propellers in nature. Maybe there's, maybe there's something there, right? Somebody did that design properly. Yes. So how much more efficient is it actually than uh, a, a like four propeller drone, for example? So this one, if you compare by the weight, uh, already the existing Bionic Belt, the product we have now, uh, can uh, have a much larger autonomy with the same weight as a four, uh, with a four propellers uh, drones, you know. And uh, it can go also uh, faster and, um, and make a longer distance. So uh, if, you, uh, if we, based on this uh, experience, uh, which is uh, quite, uh, you know, uh, successful, uh, I am working on new design to uh, follow more, more closely, uh, even more closely, uh, the flapping wings uh, of the real birds. And uh, I am doing some studies and I, I am um, getting the, the evidence that we can improve even much better than this one and get some uh, aircraft or drones at the beginning that will be able of very fast speed, like 100 kilometer per hour, but also very slow speed, uh, at the same time nearly hovering, and uh, all of this with a very a much better efficiency. Because you know, all the drones today, the, the main problem is the, the how long they will be able to fly with one charge. Everyone knows about this, and how far they will be able to, to do something. So I think with the, the, this system and the new articulated wings I'm designing now, we will be able to, uh, to uh, make a, an improvement uh, toward uh, this. So. I imagine there's also an advantage with the, the sound, right? Is it a lot quieter than the, than the hum yes, from a, from a propeller drum? Yes, this also is the point. It's much, much uh, uh, more silent than the, the propeller drone. It's also uh, more furtive, of course, because you uh, do not uh, care about the birds, or, you know. And uh, the, uh, the other thing is uh, it's, uh, it's more integrated in the nature, so you will not uh, disturb the nature. You, will, uh, you know, it's, if, if, you, if you think of a world with, with so many drones in the sky, uh, you know, it's quite ugly, a drone, it's quite noisy. If we think of replacing the drone by the birds, like uh, robot birds, of course it will be, uh, you know, a lot, but a lot much uh, nicer for the people. You know, you imagine the city with all the, the, the drones flying around you. You imagine the flapping of birds, you know, less pollution. Yeah, I was talking with um, one of the producers of uh, the, the BBC Natural History Unit, yes. and they were saying that they love filming elephants. But bring an elephant near a, or bring a drone near an elephant, and the elephant actually thinks that it's a, a swarm of bees, and it runs. Uh, <laughs> so yeah. um, you have to find other ways of doing that, right? So yeah. actually, they use long, long poles or something like that. Mm -hmm. But this could actually work really well for certainly for swooping shots and things. Yeah. So does it mean you can actually interact with other birds and animals with with this uh, with this drone? It's already uh, already uh, working. I mean, when we uh, we are playing in the fields. And there are, for instance, there are swallows or other birds. They will uh, really uh, play with this bird, and uh, even the bigger one, they will try to chase it. But what I mean is, they think it's a bird, and uh, they are absolutely not scared about it. They are in the opposite, they maybe attract me. So, so, do you get eagles trying to catch it? Yes, we have this case. <laughs> That's we amazing. Have this case. And but the, the, the more funny is the most funny is when you have swallow, and they try to chase it, and then but they are much faster, of course. So they come to it and then you turn suddenly and they to make a big turn and they come back to you. So you are like playing with uh, the real bird in the sky. It's a unique experience you cannot have with anything else flying. So this one you said you can actually buy now. Um, yes. How much does it cost and how do you actually control it? So now this one is controlled by an uh, app, uh, iPhone or Android app. And we, still, we came up with the starter kit that you, anything you need to fly. It's uh, 69 USD now. Nice. So. Um, I would actually love to see it. Do you guys want to see it? Yeah. I thought so. Yeah.
Can we fly in here? Now everybody, try and defend yourself in case it tries to attack you, because it is a bird of prey, I think. <laughs> I'd love to have a look. I will not so I will try. So you have a slider there that controls... So it's that? very easy. You have the slider to control the flapping speed, and you just tilt the phone right and left to turn it, to control the, the direction. That is really cool. Can we fly it? I can try. <laughs> we stand up and maybe... Sure. Okay. Oh, that's amazing. I think it's a bat. It's trying to eat me. That's, and a nice landing, too. Yes. <laughs> that is so cool. So, um, it connects to the bird with Bluetooth? Bluetooth. Bluetooth okay. 4. And yeah. we uh, um, designed a very special antenna so, so we can extend the range up to 120 meters. So it's uh, a lot, a lot when you are outdoor, you can really uh, go high in the sky and, uh, and get the advantage. Because it's also gliding very good, because you know it's only 9 grams. Yeah. All this technology is inside 9 grams. So yeah, I, I held it earlier, it weighs next to nothing, it's like, it's incredible. So, so what is it made of? It's, it looks like the body of some sort of styrofoam? Yes, this is a foam, a EP, uh, PP foam, so it's uh, very uh, strong and elastic, so it will not damage. And then all, all the rest is carbon fibers. This is a mylar film, so a very special film. It's only 20 micron thickness. So it's very light and but very strong. And uh, of course inside is a motor battery, like all the things. But uh, the patents are on the mechanical things, like flapping the wings here, but also on how you steer, how you can control the steer of the bird, which is uh, not like the, the plane with a govern and all those things. We duplicate also the real bird. We deform the wings. Like yeah, you the real bird, we deform the one wings, you know, to, to turn. So the turning, the, the steering is very sharp and precise. So, so it's, it's not that easy to see if you're out in the audience, but how it actually works is that it doesn't, it, it isn't the tail that's moving. No. It is actually deforming the shape yes, of the wings. Yes, pull on the wing on one side, and so one, one wing will have more draft than the other, and less lift, so you have a very sharp uh, turning like a, like a real plane, you know, doing this. Is it also self-stabilizing, or do you have to be quite careful about how you fly? No, it's very uh, naturally stabilized, you know, because it's uh, because of it's the a bird. It's a bird you know? <laughs> so no electronic is needed to stabilize this thing. Even in the wind, it's very good because it's so. If I want to buy one, uh, how much do they cost? So you will uh, have it for sixty-nine US dollar from our website, and uh, all is included in the flight. And what do you reckon the future is? Because obviously this is this is a toy. Yes. Uh, it's a fun toy, but it's a toy. Yes. What is next? How, how can you actually bring this into different uh, fields? Yes, so we are working, I am working today to develop, uh, as I told you before, a new technology, much more, uh, how to say, maybe more, more complicated for the wings, but with articulated wings and all such things that can be applied to uh, bigger powers and to bigger uh, aircraft. And uh, of course, we will have. Uh, we will add a camera and all the video stuff that you, you have on the, all the existing drones. Knowing that uh, the best uh, picture we get will be when gliding. And this, 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 and the next generation will be a perfect glider too. So you can, can imagine you will go up in the sky and then stop the wings, then you will be gliding and the, the, the motion is perfect. You will have perfect motion uh, video taken from this. Yeah, of course, it's because it's a sliding gliding yes, through no the air. Is it very sensitive to wind, or is it...? No, it's very stable to the wind, because it's naturally stable. You don't need electronic to compensate or to, you know... So, so how big do you think that they could get? Is there any limit to...? I think uh, for, for the one I'm working now, it's only this, this size, you know. When are you making one that's big enough so I can sit on the back? Yes, but I think <laughs> no. But actually, what, what I am uh, designing now is uh, something with... Um, I, um, how to say... I, I, uh, I avoid the problem of inertia due to the alternative movement and uh, thanks to, uh, I will not explain because it's not yet patented. But, but well, anyway, let, let's stop there then no, because we can't let it What I mean much. is if we can apply this to a very a much bigger model and the power will be able to go into the wind. That is absolutely awesome. Guys, I think we're out of time. An applause please and let's uh, get on with the rest of the show. Thank you. Thank you very much.